So we're here with the 3D lab here, the ID Tech X show. And who are you? Uh, I'm from the 3D lab. Um, we're an institute in the uh, technology uh, of Berlin. Um, and uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at uh, the famous polar bear Knut, actually, which died uh, in 2011. And uh, we had a project uh, to reprint the skull. And uh, this one is actually a fun project, printing the head, because we can. How do you do that? Do you use uh, 3D printers? We did uh, use 3D printers, in this case, uh, gypsum-based uh, 3D printer. And uh, we separated it into smaller parts because of the limited build volume, and then glued it together. Cool. And uh, you 3D print this? We also 3D print uh, art. Uh, we have a cooperation project with uh, museums in Berlin uh, for restoration purposes, and uh, this is one piece of them. But this, how can it be so detailed, and uh, how can all these shapes be done by 3D printers? It's not an issue? Um, it is an issue. Uh, we figured it out. Uh, we First we do a 3D scan, and then um, do the uh, pre-processing on a computer, make it processable for the machines, buildable, and uh, then we print it, and then there's, there's extensive post-processing to make it look like real plaster, like real art. Post-processing? Post-processing. Like scratching it a little bit or something? Oh no, it's uh, infusion with epoxy resin and some other secret ingredients. Secret and stuff. Then, and, what is and this? It looks like this. Uh, this is a mathematical object, uh, actually, and there's one edge that's missing. But um, the interesting thing of this object is um, you always take the middle and uh, take out the volume. Then you divide it into smaller cubes and take out in the middle the volume and so forth and so on and so forth and so on. So in the end you have an infinite large surface with an infinite small volume. Um, computers uh, may go to the third, fourth or fifth iteration, but then usually uh, it's over with a memory or processing speed and it takes ages. But uh, I think this is the fourth iteration and uh, let me just count. So you have one. many different parts, you put them, yeah. glue them together? No, 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 this is printed in one piece. In one piece? In one piece. And we have two other models which are missing right That's now. That's a pretty good 3D printer you have, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. We do have some best very one? good 3D printers. The best printers. one in the world? Uh, I assume one of them uh, is yeah, close to the best one in the world. All right, and uh, here you have a, a golden planet. Yeah, this Where's is the moon? actually, it's the moon. It's the uh, Earth moon and uh, we printed this several years ago and then plated it with uh, 24 carats of gold. That's awesome. And, yeah, this actually does not come from a, from a colored height map. This is yeah. real data from NASA. It'd be awesome if the moon was gold. The yeah, our moon. Be, yeah, I don't know. No, it'd be strange. Okay. Might be. I don't know. Uh, there are some is there other mathematical stuff. This is a mathematical object, right? But I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know. Yeah, let's go around. What's going on here? What's going? This is actually uh, educational uh, models which uh, show defects. Of, first of all, how the heart works, how the how the heart valves work. Is that 3D and, printed? Uh, this is 3D printed as well, right. And uh, this is actually a current research project, hard valve replacement by tissue engineering and um, uh, 3D printing. And uh, it looks, uh, you painted it? No, this is, a, this is printed this way. Printed in those colors? Awesome. This one, this specific machine does colors, right. Oh, and this? Actually, this is the distribution of cells in a three-dimensional grid. Oh. Um, Who's, uh, where so do you put those things? Only in your office, or do people have them somewhere? Is for universities, um, or no? This is yeah. This is for university uh, purposes, uh, educational purposes, or just for getting an overview of what we are talking about. So in discussions, this helps a lot. Uh, helps a lot. Um, where in Germany? In Germany, yeah. yeah. This one, for example, is a, is a part of a dog's bone, and this is for pre-surgery 
uh, research so the surgeon gets a good overview over what he has to do inside of the animal in this case. Um, we get the computer tomography scan, we uh, work with the data, make it processable, um, and then we print it and then give it to the, give it to the surgeon uh, for uh, surgery planning actually. All right, and here we have a... And this was the original uh, work we had to do with a polar bear. Yeah. And uh, this is the skull uh, of Knut, and this was specifically interesting to show the audience, which wanted to know why the bear actually died, um, what he died of, and uh, well, what he not did die of. And in this case, someone assumed it might be a genetic defect, but genetic defects uh, that lead to death usually also result in deformations and asymmetry in the skull. Um, but with this uh, ethical, unproblematic uh, model you can show and you can see that there is no deformation, there's no um, asymmetry in the, in the skull, therefore the theory of a genetic defect is wrong. And this model gave the researchers several years to explore the, um, the reason why the polar bear uh, died for real. And this looks very nice. Where is the original? Is it in Rome? No, it's uh, here in Berlin. It's a uh, um, figurine in the uh, tea saloon, which is quite bigger. Uh, the original is a meter and, uh, 20 to a meter and 40 centimeters in height. And um, we scanned all of them, all 15, and then reproduced them in a smaller scale uh, for exhibition purposes. That looks really, really nice. Where do you exhibit? Uh, we don't. The museum does. In Berlin? In Berlin. All right. So what's going to happen in the future? Well, what's going to happen in the future? We, we get some um, crazy 3D printing projects. Uh, we still have the um, we have a biomedical um, uh, project, and we are about to acquire some new projects. But uh, this takes time. We are a university, and uh, we'll see what uh, science brings. So you have lots of students in the three D printing uh, class. We do have seven students working with us and for us. Um, this is uh, yeah, just uh, quite a few. We have uh, several interns. Uh, also working for us, we have uh, uh, postgraduates, and we do have scientific assistance as well.